Mason Inc. TV, Black Jesus checking in, the ambassador to the streets. I'm back to drop more jewels about the music business, RBI, real business information, music biz one on one, y'all. In this particular video right here, we're going to be talking about how to invest and the proper items to get when putting your home studio together, y'all. You know, when you're dealing with this game, man, you know, it's kind of like you're hooping as far as. Um, the sportsmanship go. You want to be able to sharpen your skills at all time. You want to be able to work whenever you feel like it. And and you know that's equivalent for a uh, basketball player to have some sort of a gym or some sort of a court or just uh, some kind of a basketball goal to summit around him so he can be uh, forever working on his game. The same thing when you're talking about the studio, the studio. Now um, we at an age where. It's easy to get these home studios and to create your own sound. And I'm not knocking the big boy studios, the major studios by any means. Uh, you got to have that entity as well because when you're dealing with budgets and when, you, when you're dealing with certain artists, you're looking for that look. Uh, it's okay to spin out to the big boy studio because, you know, you might have a family at your crib. You might not want everybody around, man. So, you know, you can go to a place of business where you can spin off and, uh, you know, get your budget going where you can deal with the big boy studios. But, you know, there's nothing wrong, man, with waking up every day, man, and having a wonderful feeling of just knowing that you can record anytime you feel like it man this is nothing like it so with this video right here i'm gonna be touching down on items that you need to properly and successfully build your home studio you know what i'm saying so let's get into it first things first the first thing you're gonna need is a computer you will need a computer um uh, now with this computer, it doesn't really matter. You know, a lot of people like Mac, the Mac Daddies. And, you know, I'm definitely a super fan of the Mac Daddies. But uh, there's other PCs and there's other computers out there that's also uh, as good. The, uh, the thing about your computer for your studio is you don't want to download anything um, as far as your studio go. Like, you just want to, you know, go into your browser, search and get off of there. Try not to download anything like that because... Um, the software that you're going to be recording off of is so um, it's so delicate that anything can can knock that program off that software off. So first things first, to start off with you a computer, a nice running smooth computer. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Mac, but you know what I'm saying something that's that's definitely um, that you can depend on. The second thing you're going to need is a D A W audio interface daw audio interface and daw stands for digital audio workspace you're going to need that interface um that you're going to connect all of your cables as running from your microphone going go to the software uh also your usb cord that's running from your actual computer is 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 this interface so that this interface is d this daw this digital audio workspace interface is your brain <clears throat> for your actual studio so there's so many brands out there there's so many names so you can on your own go out and look up and search uh plenty of DAWs or digital audio workspace interfaces. That's the next thing you're going to need. Now once you get your interface down, the computer, the next thing we're going to need is us some nice, a nice, nice condenser mic. You're going to need a real nice, nice, nice condenser mic. And I stress nice because depending on your voice, you need what works for you. So all the time, you know, um, what your voice pitch is or, you know, how you vocal levels are and everything. Um, you want to get that mic that's, you know, catered and get that crisp sound. So, you know, coming out the gate, you might not get that right mic coming out the gate. It might take you a little time to keep working, but just to get the ball rolling, definitely get you a condenser mic, condenser studio microphone. Y'all definitely going to need that. Next going on down the list is a pair of nice studio headphones, nice studio headphones. And everybody know that, uh, this is, is touchy for us MCs because we got to have that sound, that playback when we want to hear it in the booth. So, you know, they got audio technicas, they got beats by Dre's, people using all kind of stuff. Um, so make sure that you get you a nice set of studio headphones. It really don't matter. It's so much stuff out there, but make sure you get the quality because as you build in this studio, you want to get quality items, a quality computer, a quality interface, a quality condenser mic because 
is not where you're recording this stuff at. It's how you're recording it and making things work for you. So let's keep this thing going. Um, you're going to definitely need some quarter-inch cables. The quarter inch cables is what's going to connect your studio monitors and that's next So let's put all that together the studio monitors and the quarter inch cables nice set of studio monitors Uh, Like I said the same thing with all the other equipment do what's right for you There's no right or wrong way or what item or what specific brand to buy as long as it's work for you and it's quality Do your due diligence meaning search these brands up out of audio technica go everything has a YouTube page where you can do the reviews and see how everything works Okay Okay, so let's cap everything off first. The computer, you want your interface, you want your condenser mic, you got to get that quality headphones, quarter inch cables, and studio monitors. Also, I forgot to tell you guys that when you get your stu um, your condenser mic, you want to get that pop filter to catch the, the, the spit and the saliva that's coming off the energy that we're giving off on these records. And well, once we record stuff over and over, so definitely get that pop filter for that condenser microphone you know it's a little round thing that goes in front of your face while you record it almost look like a stocking that um you know make sure that your, your mic doesn't get um uh, any, any moisture on it for your mcs or fmcs or people coming in and you just doing your thing on it so also with your pop filter to get, to get you a nice microphone stand uh it doesn't really matter you know uh they got the one that that, that stands straight up up and down is the proper one. They have one that you can bend down and pull towards you. You don't necessarily want to get that one because um, when you start putting um, the, the pop filter on it and your proof box uh, around your microphone, um, it's, it's a padding insulation that uh, goes around the, the actual condenser mic and it goes on the mic stand to give you that nice um, sounding uh, booth. Uh, 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 quality recording booth sound quality because you know you're not don't necessarily have a recording booth in your home but that uh, recording box that goes on that mic stand along with that pop filter would definitely filter in those sounds for you and and, and, and condense everything to give you what you need also you want to get the phone pad and as you can see behind me right here on my wall you know what I'm saying in the lion's den you want to get a couple of those everywhere just to uh, control the sound um, because you don't you don't want that hollow sound when you record it. You want everything compressed and you want it tight. That's why you see a lot of the uh, big boy studios that the sound rooms when you close that booth, you almost closing the air suction out of there. So um, you know you won't get uh, too much air behind your vocals, so everything can be uh, focused on you. And uh, I think I basically touched on everything, man. Uh, so make sure you know what I'm saying build your studio right. Quality. I can't stress enough quality on these dropping jewels videos because it's not what you do, it's how you do it. So as you jot this list down, make sure you get the quality items in your studio so you can be able to go to work because there's nothing like having your own and being able to do what you want to do with these MCs and film Cs and R&B artists out here. So just to recap, y'all, let's go down this list before we end this video. How to build your own home studio. So number one, the first thing was computer. The second thing was your interface. The third thing was your studio monitor. The fourth thing was your condenser mic. Don't forget your headphones came in next. Your quarter inch cable is going to connect everything from your studio uh, monitors into your interface. Your interface is your brain. Let's keep going. Your mic stand and pop filter. Mic stand pop filter now to create to isolate your sound we touched on the phone proof padding how to soundproof your studios with bass traps and the actual soundproof box that'll go around your mic y'all keep putting that fire out there man keep putting that quality work out there dropping more jewels the ambassador to the streets like this video share this video if you're looking at my youtube channel subscribe man let's work each other let's help each other and let's get into this comment man each one teach one to the next video man i'm gone peace